Okay, so we're going to roll a motor tube. Oh, sorry, not a motor tube. I keep calling it a motor tube. We're going to roll one of these um, motor sticks made out of sea grain balsa that's been sanded down to half a mil or 0 0.02 inch thick. So this one I've just slid it now onto a carbon blank that I have and I'm going to use this eventually to glue it. I'll slide it off, press the seam together, glue it, slide it off, press and glue. Probably end up using I think CA but I'll see. So to make a motor tube, or made a motor stick I should say, so this is a piece of the balsa. So you can see this is half a mil thick. I used, I sanded it down on this tool that I showed you in the previous video. I've now flipped the glass plate over so you can see the back of the sandpaper and the two uh, music wire uh, pieces that I taped to it. And I'm going to roll it on this nice flat surface. So the technique I'm using is um, from Michael Morrow's uh, NoCal website. If you haven't seen it, uh, you should Google it. It's really good. Um, so I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to roll it into my onto my blank. So I'm going to set that aside for a minute. I set it so that it's hanging over the edge of the glass so I can pick it up easily. So the blank that I'm going to use is this. This is a piece of brass rod, something I picked up, I don't know, hardware store or hobby store years ago. This one is... Let's see. This one is 6.3 mil, so basically it's a quarter inch um, piece of brass rod. You can use something slightly larger. The plan for this model actually called for something more like this. This is like 7.4 mil, this carbon rod. So this was actually cut for, for this, but you can see that the balsa shrunk, so there's a bit of a gap. That's fine though, I'm going to just slide it off and actually use this blank as the, the tool for gluing the seam. Um, so how to get from that piece of wet balsa, which by the way, this uh, balsa was soaking overnight in a little tub. Um, the one that is over here, I only soaked for two or three hours. Basically I put it in a tub and watched a movie and then came back and rolled the, rolled the motor tube. Or motor stick, I should say. I keep calling it a motor tube. I'm used to motor tubes because I fly F1B and P30 and outdoor jobs. I'm not used to flying airplanes with motor sticks. Um, okay, so how to do this. So the way you do this, and this is from Michael Morrow's page. Um, very usable technique. I'm just going to roll it in standard printer paper. So this is just a piece of 11 by 17 printer paper. And I'm going to use... Um, Packing tape. So packing tape, I've learned, I discovered this a couple of years ago, one of the most useful things in building free flight airplanes. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, get yourself a roll of packing tape. It's wonderful because it doesn't stick. CA, no glue that, that we use sticks to the stuff. So you can use it to protect plants, you can use it to do all kinds of good stuff. It's cheap, it's everywhere. And it works like a champ. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make the... I'm going to take this. Broken a piece off. And I'm actually going to lay it on the edge of my glass here. And I'm going to cut like a strip. So this is just 3M packing tape. I'm going to just run my knife right along the edge of the of the glass. So now I've created a essentially a sellotape strip. Take my remaining tape and put it here. I got some tape from yesterday that I'm going to use to make little strips for just going to lift that. So this I'm going to then take that strip of tape and I'm going to use it just to put it halfway on the edge of my paper. So this tape is going to be used to attach the paper to the brass blank. 
not really gluing it to the glass, just the paper. It's laying on the glass, but I will peel it away from the glass in a sec. There we go. So now I've got paper with a strip of tape on the edge of it, and I'm going to lay that on my building board. In this case, my glass plate. Yeah, just trim the edges off. Keep that little piece of tape there. That's going to be used to secure the paper to the... Once I've rolled it, I need to something to prevent it from unrolling. So I'm going to have like these little tape strips. Will help me with that when the time comes. So probably best to prepare like at least three or four of them to get you started. I got six of these here, so that'll work. So that's ready. You can see I got my little tape strips over here. Those are going to be used to secure the roll. Here's my piece of paper with cell tape along that edge. Here's my blank. So blank can be placed on the tape parallel to the edge of the paper. Rolling it backwards so that it picks up the very edge of the tape. Rolling it forward so that I can secure the tape, make sure there's no wrinkles, nice and smooth. There we go. So that's essentially now, so the blank is now attached to this paper. So now I'm going to lay my strip of balsa in there. But to make sure that it goes in nice and parallel to the blank, what I'm going to do is first put a steel ruler up against the, the blank itself and then I'm going to lay my piece of wet balsa right along the steel ruler Like that. Lift the steel ruler out of there. So now I know that when I roll this, my blank is parallel to the edge of my balsa sheet. And then the rest is really quite simple. You just keeping it nice and pressed down, you just roll it up to the balsa sheet and keep rolling, and it'll just pick up the sheet of balsa and roll it into it. And then Keep going all the way to the end. And I use one sheet of 11 by 17 gives me two of these rolls. And so these little tape strips are coming in handy now. A little bit of water leaked out of there. And there you go. So now that's the, the rolled tube that I'm going to put in the oven. It'll sit at like, yeah, 60, 70, maybe 100 degrees for a few hours. Um, this one actually was in for at like 70 degrees in the oven overnight. So when I came, got up this morning, pulled it out, unrolled it, and it was perfectly dry and ready to go. So the next video will be of me gluing that seam and hopefully that works. What I'm going to use to, so my plan for gluing the seam, and I'm not sure, maybe I won't do a video, we'll see, is uh, I'm just going to slide this off and you can see that the, the seam can be pinched carefully together and I'm just going to use like a little glue stick to pick up a little droplet of glue, it'll be thin CA, 
put it on the seam and let it run through wick along the seam. As soon as that's attached, I'll move this out, essentially rinse and repeat, trying to keep the seam straight the whole way. And then uh, hopefully that works. Okay, so that's rolling a indoor motor stick. You would use the same technique to do a um, penny plane motor stick. Essentially, same technique to thin it down and roll it and glue it. Um, in my case, I'm using it for no cow. The next motor stick I roll will be a tapered one for the boom on this particular model. And I've got an old fiberglass fishing rod blank that I'm going to roll the boom on. Hopefully it works. Okay, so thanks for watching.